want to thank the grace of heaven, the, the transmitters, uh, the predecessors, transmitters, and all of you for giving me this opportunity to um, do a continuation of my lecture last week, my practice lecture. Uh, and the topic was how to overcome obstacles in Tao cultivation. Uh, so for those of you who were not here last week, basically what we were discussing were some of the common obstacles that we all may face when um, cultivating the Tao, right? So up on the screen you see there's, I, I categorize them into two categories, either external factors or obstacles. Uh, those are the ones that either come from the environment, like your um, relationships with your friends, family, your work, uh, et cetera. And the second category are the internal factors or obstacles. And those are the ones that come within ourselves. Um, they kind of arise from our heart and our mind. Right. So, yeah. I can control it. Yeah. So, I think I went through most of these last week, so I'll just jump to the ones that we missed, or we can read through these if we want. <laughs> but, uh, so basically, family members such as our spouse or parents may object to our practices of Tao. Our career is not stable enough. Family members and or friends object to us becoming a vegetarian. Poor health. Being criticized or corrected by Tao members, witnessing the shortcomings of our seniors, friction or conflicts with others in the temple. Uh, being criticized or recruited by other religions. A happy family life or a great career too busy and occupied with business activities, uh, seeking fame or, and fortune. So I think the only, only one that we didn't go through last week was the last one in this external factor list. Um, but I'll, I'll go through the internal factors um, first. So number one, not truly understanding Tao and not comprehending the preciousness of Tao, having no, fa no faith in the truth the principles and the heavenly decree, having doubts about God and Buddhas and not having enough faith, not being certain of the results of Tao cultivation and propagation, not being clear about the truth and relying too much on supernatural powers, miracle or instincts, denying the Tao society because it lacks supernatural things to satisfy our curiosity, getting used to being undisciplined and acquiring bad habits that are hard to get rid of, here a few more. Not developing our wisdom well enough to comprehend the true meaning of cultivation. Not properly adjusting ourselves both to work affairs and temple affairs. Feeling incapable of doing things by comparing ourselves to others. Feeling frustrated and having a low self-esteem. Reluctant to give up a non-vegetarian diet. Managing relationships with other people poorly holding ideas or concepts which are different from those of other people. Okay, so this is just a short list of some of the obstacles that you may face in Tao cultivation. There are definitely probably thousands more that aren't on here that are unique to each of us. Uh, so let me just skip to number nine. So again, feel free to jump in if any, get, any of you guys have any um, personal experiences you would like to share. So number nine is seeking fame and fortune. So basically what this means is as humans, right, a lot of us seek that fame and fortune because um, that's a material thing that we want. Like a lot of us maybe want to be movie stars or athletes, professional athletes, or uh, we want to make a lot of money so that we can purchase all the material things that we want. Right. Um, so, if we if we decide to pursue pursue these material things, right, it can cause us to lose sight of the truth and lose sight of our path of Tao cultivation. Right. The more time we spend pursuing fame and fortune, we forget about the Tao slowly. Right. Um, but as Tao cultivators, we really need to understand and you know, really understand the preciousness of that, right? We, a lot of us, we received the Tao pretty easily and came to this temple, but this was not always the case, right? In the past, in the 
the, the green and red period, uh, the DAO is only transmitted from one person to one person, right? But in today's white period, we're able to transmit it to basically everyone. Um, so just as, as an example, um, I myself am, st am still working on um, trying to overcome this type of obstacle, right? <laughs> so for a, a few years now, I've been interested in real estate investing. Um, so when I first started out, I really kind of focused all my time in trying to learn how to get into this sort of, um, sort of, I guess, yeah, so this, this sort of investing, right? So I feel that as I spend more time in the temple, um, I've realized that I need to have a balance between those material things and these, I guess, more spiritual, the word? spiritual <laughs> things, right? So basically what this story is telling is you really need to have a good time management skills, right? Um, if something as important as cultivating the Tao and reaching enlightenment, we really need to, um, we can't make the excuse of, oh, I don't have enough time to do this, I don't have enough time to do this, right? We have to um, make time for those important things, right? Time doesn't just appear. It, you have to make time for the, those things. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we went through. The, the previous one, um, I remember a holy teacher, our holy Qigong Buddha, said one time in uh, Tango Hall in uh, lecture's class, and uh, he was pointing out to the outside building. He said, even you all, we all, he said, we own the building outside, all those buildings. Means the rich person are rich, they own all the buildings. But he said, if we own all those buildings, are rich people are good position in society, or job, or whatever. But we still have a human body. We still carry all the karma. We still reincarnate this human world. Okay? We still rich people who, with all everything, good position. But we still human body, have a human body still reincarnate. And what happened? We have nothing to be proud of. Nothing to be proud of because we still under this what happened? Be the seed to reincarnate. We cannot avoid get out from those reincarnation. We are still inside. Doesn't matter what we owe. <laughs> Steve job, right? What did he owe? What did he have? Everything, right? What happened? Yes. Yes. Human beings, Buddha tried to teach us. Doesn't matter what we have. Doesn't matter what we owe. We own. We still this we inside this reincarnation. Still human body with karma. We have nothing to be proud of. The only thing for them is to be enlightened. That's the most important thing. To go back or to come back to say more deep things. So I was like, wow. <laughs> that thinking is different from human being thinking. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. So we went through these last week. Skip to number four. Okay. So getting used to being undisciplined and acquiring bad habits that are hard to get rid of. Right. How many of us have bad habits? Right. I'm sure all of us do. <laughs> okay. So really, um, I guess some examples are of bad habits in Tao cultivation are maybe not coming to temple every week, um, or not trying our best to come to temple every week. Um, maybe being lazy or apathetic in dog cultivation, right? So, so basically, um, again, this is something that I've been working on as well. Um, in the beginning, I didn't prioritize temple affairs as much as I do now. Um, I guess I was just too lazy to really learn the, the proprieties and the concepts in, in the Tao. But I think as I came to Temple more with um, Transmitter Lin and, and their family, um, I began to learn more and more of how these proprieties could really trans translate over into my daily life, and I can apply those um, those things to my daily life, right? So 
one of the main things that I've learned from coming to Temple is there are a lot of obstacles that we face, right? And we will, if we haven't already, make a lot of mistakes in our Dao cultivation, right? So instead of giving up when we hit those obstacles, we really need to, um, like, when our mind thinks, I can't do that or I'm not able to do that, it kind of just shuts off and you don't, you stop thinking and stop trying, right? So really, instead, our mindset should be, how can I do that or how can I achieve that, right? So that gets our mind thinking of, oh, I need to take these certain steps to get to where I want, right? I think I think we've gone through all the other ones, uh, but does anyone have any? Yeah, I think it's Virginia. This is a very good topic because we are all facing obstacles in the life, not just of cultural cultivation, everything. So if you have experience to share with everybody else, please feel free to, to share with us. Yeah. Um, I received the doll in 2007. Uh, and, and I came back to the temples quite often afterwards. But then uh, my business became quite busy in the year 2010. So I kind of skipped the uh, classes. And the more I skipped, the more the less uh, willing or interested I would be in uh, But then there's always the call, the calling in me. And so I, I, I know, I, even I dream I was walking into temples, doing the kopo. <laughs> Many different different temples, even roadside temples, temples in the depth of forests. And so I I know I will always come back, I just didn't know when, but then I decided to come back and we came to, we were doing the Buddha nature classes at the time. And I think it kind of clicked with me. But still in the beginning, I was still thinking, oh, I'm here to like um, give to everyone a favor so that you have more people attending the class. <laughs> it's not still, still not like doing it for my own sake. OK, but the, the, the magic is the more you lis we listen to this uh, uh, principles, to all these teachings, I guess the impact is getting more and more. And I just feel that I really have to become transformed. And I just, it's just very natural for me to want to, to be in the temple because I don't, I couldn't think of any better place than a temple, learning all these truths to be, or in Chinese word, to be shown in the Buddha's light and wisdom. Uh, and really, it's the sincerity that we talk about in the previous uh, topic. Well, the more sincere we become, then the more we are in sync with the, the principles and all this uh, uh, truth. And I feel, although I didn't, I didn't come to temple to want better uh, rewards or to have to look for some kind of. Uh, Return. benefits or returns. But the truth is, because of what I learned, I know how to be, how to treat people you know, with respect and also with sincerity. It's like when I'm dealing with my customers, it's also with that sincerity. Although sometimes I don't want to do you know, more business when sometimes we get busy, but if they come to us, it's because they, they are being good to us. Then we, with our sincerity, we still have to take care of them. Right? And so I, with this sincerity that I learned from all these classes, and also uh, different you know, topics we learn, they kind of build up. And I think, I guess I'm maybe a better person, a more complete person. Uh, and the result is, you know, I think, you know, everything is just going more smoothly for me. I'm Business, you know, my own um, state of mind, everything is just... Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? I think yeah. she's going through the number five, it's in three steps. Number five? What is that? Number yeah. five. <laughs> 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 Everyone knows what's the number three of the 15th. Uh, we are going to talk about that next part, next week. To yeah. assume responsibility. Yeah, to yeah. accept and take on responsibility. <laughs> all of us can do that. We all have that potential. Anybody else want to share? Just your story, that's fine. 
Don't be afraid. Not just we have a lot of obstacles in the conservation, in the life, in the society, family, job, anything. So share with us. The things I would like to share with everybody is like uh, we know the things very important next step is just do it. Mm -hmm. The thinking, the, the thought is important. First, we can have idea first. But without doing, we cannot have something come up. Mm -hmm. Just do it. Mm -hmm. So we we know we listen a lot of you know lecture, give us knowledge, the training is important, it's very good for our healthy and also very you know important in our spirit also. Do it. Even that trust try one meal, one day, one week. By trying, our body going to let us know. No. So it's the right thing or the wrong thing. So we should listen to our body. Without doing, oh, people say it's good or not. No, I can eat it all so already. So I have no doubt. Everybody, you know, think like this in the beginning. Me too. I have been in me more than 30 years. The beginning, people say, no, me? No, that's not for me. <laughs> yes, it's impossible. But the, the good thing is people, you know, for my pain, ask me if I want meal one day, one week. And your body, you know, they know. When I get my book, my mom, my mom is at classroom. She was so worried about it. No, no other nutrition. People, yeah, no nutrition. Other people sit in the office. You have to run the head and all over. No, that's not for you. But when I get back home, I jump, you know. Because by the time we were living in the fourth floor, I stayed two steps, two steps, two steps, not the one by one, you know. My mom say, why you run so fast? Because you, when time you have energy, body much more like it. So because when time you eat meat, like the foods, 75% of the the energy used to just the, the food. Yeah, to just the food. So when you eat a lot of food, those food, the vegetarian food are much easy to digest. So the body have less work to do. And then, you know, you know, we all know the meats have so much important stuff inside. Even Senator gave us like a report already. So that even worse than the smoking all the things. Do it, do it. We, we listen to our body and then we can go on the path. So just to come to get a knowledge, if we don't plan anything, it's no good result. So we cannot go past for a long time. And also, everybody is very, um, when Master Jim was encouraged us, try to bring people to the city park. That's important also. But because without doing it, we don't know, we don't feel the energy. Just to invite, just people come down here, but sometimes people say, if you start with your powers, it's normal. Same with me. People bought me many, many times, ask me to receive how. I say, I come here for the class. Why you guys ask me to receive how? I refuse them many times, about heavy years. But uh, if I'm, I keep coming, I, I feel the energy. You know, when we talk about the uh, old shoes, so why not? And then we say, how? After I receive how, and then I, I'm doing, I'm running, yes. I tell all the people the training is good, and uh, all the people receive how. Once I received, like, say last week, uh, it's my classmate, receive how. She tells me, Kelly, thank you so much <laughs> to follow me in the temple. This thing is very interesting, and it feels good energy. Mm -hmm. But some people maybe, you know, they gave you some bad things. You know, this like the percentage, the numbers get. So yeah. I might expect uh, all the people receive how. You know, so have to resolve the right way. But the, if we just listen, don't do it, no action without action. It's like the, one time we learn the bicycle. We if we just if, if I teach her how to learn the bicycle, if I don't plan action the balance, we don't we, we cannot. So so this is my uh, experience. Yeah. Sister Yin, uh, she also brought a lot of people receiving it. So that's also a good job. Yeah. Anybody else want to share with us? Give a few minutes, five minutes, anybody? Send me your show with us. Hey, send me what are you here? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
And I was like, I'm getting to college, so it's a harder to come, so it's just less time, and all of that. So we'll see in the future. <laughs> I just wanted to say that before coming here, I was always eating vegetarian, except that I was using, I ate fish and shell, and I think I made a decision now to leave that out of my life. Okay. Yeah. 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 So if you stop eating meat, yeah, your energy on. channels will come clearer. I think you should. Yeah. 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 Because the part, our blood is much cleaner, mm -hmm. so allergies is gone. Mm -hmm. So it is, she didn't have problem anymore. So that's yeah. a, yeah. so that's a beauty yes, of it. So no many good no things happening. Yeah. Yeah. My patient is not healthy. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Uh, if I say anything incorrect, I ask the heavens for forgiveness. Um, and or anyone to correct me. Okay.